Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Monday, the 17th of August, and the final day of lockdown alert level three. So we have three rounds of 10 pull-ups and 20 dumbbell snatches. Then we go into two rounds of 15 toes to bar and 30 goblet squats. Then we go into one round of 20 single arm devil's presses or 20 single arm uh, thrusters. And then we supersetting that with 40 mountain climbers. So let's get into the heart of it. To start off, we've got our three rounds of pull-ups and dumbbell snatches. Okay, pull-ups, you can go normal pronated grip or supinated, which is your reverse grip. Then we go into our dumbbell snatches, where we're going off the ground, it's 20 in total, so it's 10 each arm. So from the ground into semi-squat, it's up to you if you use do 10 on the one side and then 10 on the other, or if you want to alternate snatch and then alternate arms for 20 in total. Then we go into two rounds of your 15 toes to bar. So if you are able to hang from somewhere, you're going to do your toes to bar or your knees to elbows. Another option are your loaded sit-ups. So we are going to use your kettlebell or dumbbell that you've been snatching, keep it up above you, and we have the leg raise, hip raise combo, or you can also do the sit up and press. So keep it in your, let's say, your goblet position, sit up, and then press it up, bring it down to the goblet, and then come back down. So that's sit up, press, and then back down. So those are your two ab options for your toes to bar. Then we're going to the 30 goblet squats. So again, whichever object you've got, and we've just got your goblet squat for 30 reps. You're gonna cycle through that twice. Then we go into one round of your single arm devil's presses or single arm thrusters. The single arm devil's press, you've got your implement, so you hit your burpee, and then single arm snatch. Change arms, burpee, and then snatch on the other side. So that would be 20 in total to give you 10 each arm. If you're doing thrusters, then you'll just hit your 10 thrusters each arm. If you really want to scale it up, you can always go 20 thrusters each arm. Then we go into our 40 mountain climbers. So again, preferably 40 each side because it's only one round. But if that's too much, you can always go 40 in total. So your mountain climbers bring the knee to the elbow and the front foot stays off the ground. So we touching the knees to the elbow for 40 reps each side. You can also do the alternating mountain climber where you bring the opposite knee to elbow but still keeping that front foot off the ground and try to keep your back as flat as possible without bouncing up and down. So top to bottom, three rounds, two rounds, one round. Fast and furious, if you're really looking for something more, then you can always come back up or go top to bottom again for a second round. But one round done properly should be a good blast. Have a good one. Good start to the week. See you tomorrow.